We are gonna solve a Russian math Olympiad problem, and that is x squared minus y squared equal to nine, x y equal to three, x plus y is what? So when you want to solve these types of problem, I told you in my previous videos, what can we do? It is useful for round one and also round two. At first, pause the video and try to solve it at first by yourself. And so let's start. The idea is what is replacement. Idea that we want to use for this problem. Replacement here means what? For example, by second equation, you can say y equal to what? 3 over x. You can divide both sides by x. Why? Because x is not 0. If x is 0, then left side will be 0, but right side is 3. And then y equal to 3 over x. Then we should do what? We should replace y here with 3 over x. So if I combine these two things, I say x squared minus y is what? 3 over x squared equal to 9. And then I do what? I multiply, but let me write like this, as x squared minus 9 over x squared equal to 9. I should multiply by what? I multiply by x squared. It will be what? It will be x to the 4 minus 9 equal to 9x squared. And if I take all things to one side, it will be x to the 4 minus 9x squared minus 9 equal to 0. Now, here it is degree of 4, but if we use changing variable, one of the most important and useful things in algebra, but basic thing. We have some changing variables that are so much more useful from basic level to international level, and there are around, as I said, 40 important ideas in algebra. If you want to know them, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Then I can conclude what? It is y squared x to the 4 minus 9 replace x squared with y minus 9 equal to 0. Now it is a quadratic formula, the degree is 2. And the formula is what? If we have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, then x equal to negative b plus minus. The formula is this b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And then we can say what? We can say here. A is the coefficient of this part, A is 1, B is what, negative 9, the coefficient of this part, and C is what, C is negative 9. If you replace A, B, C in this formula here, it, it is the variable here is X, the variable here is, let me draw a rectangle around this, because it is only a formula. We want to use this. So y will be what? Negative b, 9 plus minus is what? b squared, 81, minus 4ac. a is 1, c is negative 9. So minus 4ac will be plus 36 over 2a, which a is 1. So it will be 9 plus minus 117 all over 2. y was what was x squared? We know x squared is at least zero so here which sign should we select if we select negative then it will be negative but it is x squared should be non-negative number so we conclude x squared which is y equal to 9 plus root 117 over 2 now we found what we found x squared so i should find x x will be what x will be plus minus root 9 plus 117, root 117, all over 2. Okay, here, if we focus on the assumption of the problem, we have this, x, y, 3. So, look, if x is positive, look, for example, if you select positive sign, then y should be positive. And here, if you consider negative of this, Consider negative x, negative y. Here it will be again 3. And also if you change x and y to negative, this equation won't change. So we have two answers. x and y, both of them positive or both of them negative. So let's consider plus 1. And similarly, we can see minus 1. Case 1. If x is what? 9 plus 117, root 117 over 2. 
And we can say what? X, Y is 3. X is positive here. So Y should be also positive. And look, I find one answer here. Because if we have a square root, if I want to get rid of that, if I write a square root of 117 minus 9 over 2. If I consider this Y and I check the product, I will see it will be uh, 3. Why? I use this equation. A minus B times A plus B equal to what? This identity. A squared minus B squared. Because we have AB minus AB, they will be cancelled. And then I can say what? I can say, if I replace y with this, then xy will be what? Will be a square root of the denominator 2 times 2, 4. Here, a minus b, a plus b. a is root 7, 1, 1, 7, and b is 9. So this times this will be a squared root 1, 1, 7 squared will be 1, 1, 7 minus b squared, 9 squared, which will be 81. And this one will be what? 36. 117 minus 81 is 36 over 4. And it will be what? It will be root 9. It will be what? 3. So I see this y works. So we found one answer in satisfying both of them. x, y. And I want to say for when x is positive, the only y is this y. Because if we know y is positive, if you increase y, then left side will be greater than 3. If you decrease, because if y is this, we, it will be exactly 3. x is fixed. If you increase y, left side will be greater than 3. If you decrease y, left side will be less than 3. So we have only one answer, because left side is a strictly ascending in terms of y, a strictly increasing in terms of y. So we have only this answer. So for positive, it can be this. Similarly, you can say for case 2, x is negative of exactly, let me copy this part. x and y will be exactly these numbers. The only difference is what they will be negative. So if I want to say, I say, okay, x is negative of this and y is negative of this. So these two numbers satisfy. But the problem was what doesn't want x and y separately. It says x plus y is what. So Look, I consider x plus y for this case. And this one will be exactly negative of that. Because both of them are negative. So, let's paste it here. x plus y. If you consider x plus y, it will be what? It will be square root of 9 plus a square root of 117 over 2 plus a square root of root 117 minus 9 over 2. When you see this types of problem and you want to let me tell you get rid of many square root we have one useful idea is what is raise both sides to the power of two so look i define it a i want to find a a squared is what the first one so i should use what quantity or what identity it's x plus y squared is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So a squared will be the first one squared is 9 plus, you can get rid of this square root, this is squared plus this is squared, x squared plus y squared, this is squared, again this is square root will be cancelled, this minus 9 over 2 plus 2 times product of them. Product of them it will be what? 4? Uh -huh. We can use xy, we've proved. xy was what? xy was 3 here we've calculated so here you can calculate again or you can use that 2 times 3 so it will be what negative 9 because both denominator are 2 9 will be cancelled it will be 2 square root of 117 over 2 it will be square root of 117 plus 6 so a will be what a will be plus minus a square root of 117 plus 6. So, in case 1, that x, y are positive here. x, y are positive. Case 2 was what? x, y are negative of those. If both of them are positive, then the, the answer will be plus 6. If both of them are negative in case 2, the answer is negative square root of square root of 117 plus 6. So, we found all two answers. If you had any question about the solution of this problem or 
wanted to learn the ideas that are useful in Russian Mathematical Olympiad in uh, AMC, AME, USAMO for USA Math Olympiad, BMO for British Math Olympiad, round one, round two, also up to IMO. If you had any question, also Harvard, MIT, Stanford Math Tournament, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Thanks for subscribing and like my videos. And you can click on my other playlist videos to improve your problem solving. Thanks for watching this video.